Hello everyone. Welcome to Jack's tutorial. In last tutorial, uh, we have seen what is sparse matrix and its triple data structure representation. We have seen that sparse matrix is a matrix in which most of the elements are zeros or we have very few non-zero elements. In an example, we have seen that we have a 4 by 5 matrix that is total number of elements are 20 out of that only 6 elements are non-zero elements that's why we call this matrix as a sparse matrix. Also, we have seen two dimensional array representation of sparse matrix that is triple data structure which has three rows. Row number one indicates the index of row where non-zero element is located. Then second is column. Second row is column which indicates the index of column where non-zero element is located. And the last row is actual value of the element which is located at index row comma column. So here this is an example that we have seen and now we are going to see a triple data structure for the same. We can easily see in row number 0 in row number 0 and column number let's say 1, 2, Sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So in column number 2 and row number 0, we have element 3. So element 3 is in row number 0 and column number 2. In same way, in row number 0 and column number 4, we have next element which is 4. So row number 0 and column number 4. In this same manner, we have found out a triple data structure this triple data structure for this example now talking about operations on sparse matrix which is the focus of this tutorial given two sparse matrix we can perform various operations such as add multiply or transpose of the matrix in their sparse form itself here we have the matrix in this sparse format and then we are going to perform these operations such as add, multiply or transpose. Here we are going to focus on the transpose of the sparse matrix. Before that we must understand what is meant by transpose of a matrix. A transpose of a matrix is obtained by interchanging rows and columns. In another way, we can say that element in the ij position gets put in the ji position in transpose. So rows and columns get interchanged in short that is nothing but transpose of the sparse matrix. Here. Transpose of matrix B1 is obtained as B2. So B2 is nothing but transpose of B1. By inserting ijth element of B1 as an jith element of B2. So by doing this procedure, we actually obtain the transpose. Now for example, we have a matrix B1 as equal to we have let's say 1 2 3 4 this is a 2 by 2 matrix okay so this is 2 by 2 matrix so transpose of this is represented as for example b2 okay and number of rows becomes number of columns so 2 by 2 matrix it is going to remain 2 by 2 only thing is that the row elements in b1 will become the column elements in B2. So 1, 2 will be like this 1, 2 and 3, 4 will be like this 3, 4. 
so this is nothing but transpose of the matrix now to transpose a sparse matrix or a matrix we can simply change every column value to the row value and vice versa as we have seen in example however in case of the transpose of sparse matrix resultant matrix won't be sorted as we require here i will show you an example before that what we do we initially determine the number of elements less than the current elements column being inserted in order to get the exact index of the resultant matrix where the current element should be placed to do this this is done by maintaining an array index whose ith value indicates the number of elements in the matrix less than the column i for example the original matrix is we can see here this is our original sparse matrix and this is its representation in triple data structure format okay so when we want to obtain its transpose what we do we interchange the row and column values so column value becomes the row value and row value becomes the column value okay so if we observe carefully this particular representation is in increasing order of the row numbers so row 0 first then row 1 and then row 3 so it is in increasing order of row number however when we do the interchange of rows and columns so first entry in row becomes 2 then 4 then 2 then 3 then 1 then 2 so we can easily observe here the numbers are not in a sorted order so this is the resultant transpose of the matrix here we can see number of columns are of let's say five and number of rows are four and these row number 1 is going to become column number 1 okay and in this case the transpose of sparse matrix we are going to interchange the rows and columns so this is going to happen like this see the column numbers now became the row number so 2 is copied here as it is 4 is copied as it is 2 is copied as it is 3 is copied as it is 1 is copied as it is and 2 is copied as it is and the column row becomes the column here so 0 then 0 then 1 then 1 then 3 and the elements remain as it is and element remains as it is now we will see a c program for transpose of the sparse matrix before that we will see a logic of how exactly this is obtained okay 